You're listening to The Joe Cronin Show, a wrestling podcast with attitude. The shit kicked out of me I got my ass kicked In MMA Sorry uh, Everybody remembers that old song But anyway, uh, CM Punk, could he be coming to AEW? You never know We're just a few minutes away from Monetize This Over on the Corrupted Nation YouTube channel Everybody's pumped up I'm gonna stick this cigar up my ass tonight We're gonna drink we're going to party JB versus Drew in a drinking contest. So much more. S. Dalla has the Monetize This Championship in his possession. It's going to be friggin' unbelievably epic stuff. Tonight, That one, whenever hair sticks out of my head, it bothers the hell out of me. It drives me nuts. But anyway, I asked you guys for questions on YouTube, and you have delivered. So here is my Q&A as far as wrestling questions today from the patrons on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin show. All right, cult of personality. God damn, I'm going to freak out. Michael Keane says, thoughts on NWA breaking away from Ring of Honor to start their own TV show. I think it's a great idea. I think Ring of Honor is the most stale product besides WWE right now. They have just stayed. Well, they're not. That That's not really to say. I mean, they, they've got good talent. They've got great stuff. It's just it's not advertised enough. They don't build things enough. They don't do enough work uh, to make their product stand out a little bit more, make it must-see TV. It's nowhere near that. It's kind of like an afterthought 2 a.m. in the morning show at this point. And I would argue that the talk going around about it would back that up, and not only that, but attendance numbers would back that up as well. I don't blame any of the wrestlers. I think they're all great. I just don't think that they have been hyped the way they should be, and some of the storylines haven't been done or advertised or promoted the proper way. The last time anybody said shit about Ring of Honor really was Enzo Amore and Big Cass crashing the uh, show that time with with Bully Ray and everybody. Uh, certainly it did make some headlines when Matt Taven won the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship. That was pretty cool. That made some headlines. But uh, that's been about it. Those those are it for as far as the casual wrestling fan or indie wrestling fan. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that love Ring of Honor, that follow Ring of Honor, you know, and I I, I mildly follow it. But I can tell there's a disinterest going on with that product. Mike200066, who you may remember from uh, calling Monetize This uh, the other week. This call sucks. Says, do you think that AEW will buy WWE in 20 years or WWE will buy AEW in 20 years? I don't know why this question keeps coming up. This isn't the first time somebody's asked that. I don't know. I don't think either one. I would I would say it's really less likely that AEW is around in twenty years. Probably, don't know who's going to buy whatever, but it's less likely that AEW is around in twenty years. I would say that. I would say there's a like a forty percent, thirty percent chance or less that AEW is around in twenty years. There's probably a seventy five percent chance WWE is around in twenty years. Kalel Bama says, if we get a main roster stars on NXT, you think we're going to get undisputed era? Versus the OC. Yeah, I think a lot of people have really thought this, especially if they bring in Finn Balor. If they bring in Finn Balor, then it's a four on four. So that would make sense. And perhaps they take war games to the main roster. That's what a lot of people want. Don't know if that will happen, but we shall see. Kalel Bama, I, I would hope that they would go that route and it would be fun. But at the same time, it's just like always. I hope Undisputed Era stays down in NXT because. The minute anyone comes up to the WWE main roster, they go to shit, pretty much. Or they get they get devalued, either way. They get devalued, they go to shit, or they become less interesting. Whatever the reason is, the booking, the writing, the stage, I don't know. But usually crap. Kermack in, uh, on Patreon also says, If Sting followed through with being the third man in the NWO instead of Hogan, do you think WCW would have ended sooner? Um... Probably. I think they probably would have ended sooner, yeah. Probably would have ended sooner uh, because it wouldn't have gotten the traction it got with, with Hogan. With Sting, it would have been like in-house WCW, people get it. But as far as having traction around the world like it did at that point, 
and around the wrestling world, the I think that Hogan is a bad guy even got people who are WWF fans to say, wait a minute, I got to go see that. That's what's going on. So, no, yeah, they wouldn't have been as successful. They probably would have been close, though, to be honest. They probably could have been pretty decently close, maybe. But I don't know. Yeah, they would have had problems. See, WWE would do that. WWE would have made Sting the guy, you know, instead and never made Hogan a bad guy because that's what they do with Roman. That's what they did with Cena. That's what they've done with just about everybody. So they would, they, WWE would have made that decision and stayed safe just like they are right now. Jabroni Jabber Podcast says, do you agree with Jim Cornette's views on Omega and the Bucks being extremely overrated? Wow. Um, I can understand if you're not a fan of everything they do or even a fan of anything they do. I can understand if you don't like their style or you don't like what they do. I get that. But to say they're extremely overrated, if that's a quote or that's something that he said, that's stupid because these guys sell out arenas. They sell out arenas. And yeah, sure, recently not as much, and maybe some of the hype is dying down a bit, but they are certainly not extremely overrated. You know, I mean, maybe... I, I, all right. I would say that some of the people who watch AEW, watch the Young Bucks, maybe they slightly hold them in a higher regard than they should be. But um, they, they should be considered one of the top tag teams in the world right now. They're one of the top t talk tab teams... They're one of the top tag teams in the world. They're some of the top wrestlers in the world. There is no doubting that. So it, uh, for them to be overrated, I suppose that would be someone saying, Kenny Omega is the best wrestler and the Young Bucks are the best tag team. If you consider that, or I, I consider that a logical opinion. I, I, I don't even think that. I'm, I'm not even saying that they're the best. I don't think they are. Um, they're one of the best. They're one of the tag teams I would watch wherever they are. Same thing with Kenny Omega. So for that reason, I would have to say that Jim Cornette saying that they're exaggerated or they're overrated, extremely overrated, I think that that is not true. I, I, I don't think that uh, the truth is in the middle. The fact is they're, some of the, they're, the, they're the, at the top of their game in what they do in the world of wrestling. No doubt about that. Do some people hold them in a much higher regard, too high a regard? Probably. But they're probably fans. And if they're getting that type of reaction, then they're doing something right. So it again goes against your argument that they're not, that they're over extremely overrated. They are not extremely overrated. Um, I think some of the wrestling style is overrated to me. But at the same time, results matter and they're getting them. So when they don't get the results... And they, and I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean, I, I get what he's saying because I, I do understand that they are, you know, held to this, oh my God, the greatest thing. And, but, and it's not necessarily my favorite style of wrestling all the time. Sometimes I really love what they're doing. Other times I think, man, you lost me here. So I, I, I think that they may be slightly overrated by some people. But extremely overrated. I don't think they're extremely overrated. And that's that's all I have to say about that. Forrest Gump style. Well, those are all the questions I had today on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin by all the great patrons. Shout out to everybody. And shout out to everybody who joined me for the Discord VIP uh, discussion earlier. I will see you guys in 25 minutes right now over on Corrupted Nations YouTube channel, my other YouTube channel, where tonight, monetize this, is going down. Will JB suck on the teeth of Drew? Will Leah try to fornicate with me live on the show? Who knows what's going to happen tonight on monetize this? Will Dave Rose attempt to choke out Heisman Defoe? I don't know. So stick around and see what happens tonight. Where's the where's the CM Punk music? Oh yeah, it's monetized this time. It's time to do it. S dot dollars the champ. Mm. Mm.